are watching Ebony Ladies in the DR. I'm your host, Bridget. Bienvenidos a mi canal. Gracias por mirar. So this is the episode, everybody. I think you've been waiting for. So what can I get in Punta Cana for under $100,000? So our last episode that we did, it was under $200,000. And I welcomed you to my home. So today we are doing under $100,000 and our feature product project is gonna be Primavera Residences in Punta Cana. Now this is located off the main highway, y'all know we only have one highway, but this highway runs behind Cocotel, right? And you'll see a gas station called Next Gas Station. It sits um, behind Cocotel, it's close to the IMG Hospital, so you'll see it. Okay, the wind is kicking up, so I better cover my microphone so y'all don't have to complain to me about the wind noise, all right? Gotcha. All right, here we go. So Primavera Residences, um, off the main highway, shoot me an email, comment, you know, and I'll get you right here if you're interested in this property. So I chose this property because a friend of ours just completed building here, their home, and we're going to get a first um, hand look. We're going to be inside, see their property. We're going to get a chance to ask some questions and get a little bit of information for people who are interested in new construction, interested in under $100,000 dollars interested in a payment schedule interested in something that's more na uh, more of a neighborhood and community friendly this is one of those places so let's go all right everybody we are on site remember i promised we're going to do a complete this is a house that was completely built this is a new project primavera residencias we showed you the um gate so now we're inside the community welcome mr roberto this is one of my subscribers if y'all follow me on instagram then y'all know when we met uh, through my youtube channel right so roberto welcome to punta cana thank you he is a new homeowner this is a new bill and he's going to tell us a little bit i'm going to ask him some questions about the project so this episode is for um projects under a hundred thousand dollars mr roberto was a lucky person when he got when he um signed his contract and started with this project it was around 70 75,000. Now, we told y'all property values are going up. Already, his investment is up to 98,000. Who is still under 100, you could get a home like his, but just barely under 100, this property. And this is Primavera Residences 2. There are three phases, one, two, and three. So we are on two. Inside of two, they do have um, two bedrooms, three bedrooms, one level, two levels. And you can pick and choose, um, you know, whatever your choice, whatever's in your budget so for this property what was your initial deposit we kind of want to know the payment schedule well, how'd it go it was 20 percent uh total we have to put down 20 percent total okay five percent down to to hold it okay and then the balance from the five percent uh was 15 percent we did that in monthly installments so okay we divided it uh Let's say it was 10 months, so whatever the balance was, we sent something every month uh, for 10 months. So was it start to finish, 10 months? Yes. Oh, to get yes. it done? Yes. Ah, yeah, that's nice. Only 10 months. Okay. And did you have the option to get it furnished? or not furnished? Did they offer a furniture package no. with this property? No, they did Okay, no furniture package with this property because a lot of, some of the condos do, but the villas don't. All right, we want to know that. Pool option. I saw some with the pool, some without. Uh, the pool option was additional. If we wanted a pool, I think it was gonna be anywhere between ten and fourteen thousand dollars that's a lot and yeah. they're not really Which big pools they like called the pacuzzi so right. half a uh, kind of mix of a cool pool and a jacuzzi Correct. right okay but the marble's nice so yeah. this uh, so now we're getting ready to go on in uh let me see how what was the process what did you all do this they didn't i wasn't a realtor yet so they didn't buy it from me yeah. but did you all uh, do this with the realtor or with this project company was it the, the realtors that with had the this project who, who was uh over this time, project i think she was working with the project I okay don't know if she's still there or not but she was with the project at the time okay now this is punta cana realtor that is over this project but you don't have to buy from them if you like what you see you can always buy it from me i can help y'all out all right we're going in Devlin's gonna walk us uh mr roberto i'm gonna go with you all right everybody y'all see we got bella with us today in their lovely new home she's breaking it in so this is the family room and 
and then your, this is a family room, and then an open kitchen floor plan. So, Mr. Carter, approximately how many square feet is the house, or square meters is the whole house? Oh, I have no idea. I know really? we just have two okay. bedrooms, the living room, dining, kitchen, and two bathrooms. Okay, so then we'll talk about it. So let's just go in the kitchen a little bit down. So they do, it comes with nice granite, comes with a double sink, so you have to put in all of your appliances. So they do have an area here for their stove top and hood then. This is the area for the refrigerator. 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 So then we bring it around. This house has really good pantries, really good, really pretty cabinets. Okay, so y'all see it's a brand new house. They didn't take the plastic out the door. Okay, so if we go out here, this is their washer and dryer area. So they have a nice area for the built-in wash sink, the wash bowl. Your water heater goes out here? Right here. Water right heater goes inside. here, and then washer and dryer. Okay? And so it's it gives like us really additional to put a, a sink out Put here. the wash sink, it's yeah. like, like we have now. So this is like a really nice house. All right, and go on around. And this, uh, I, I wish I could feel the breeze, but definitely I'll shoot the backyard and see the wind blowing. When they get screens here, this room is not going to need an AC at all. You can put in some ceiling fans, so this is a great property to save you on electricity. All right, now this is the two bedroom to that. Yes. All right, so everybody, this is the hallway. Main living bathroom, really pretty, comes with shower. Did not come with the shower door, so they had the glass shower doors put in. But it came with the same toilet, nice, beautiful, modern area. All right? And in Punta Cana, all the doors come locked. So this is standard. Okay, this is the first bedroom here. All right, and now you're going to use your master. This is a guest bedroom. bedroom. This is a guest bedroom here. And so you're going to put in, you have to install it yourself. I'll have to install my AC. AC, light fixtures, everything. And down the ceiling has a nice closet in here. So we're gonna go, we got the other one away, and we're gonna go to the next bedroom. We got the one in the closet and the hallway. Alright, and this is our second bedroom. You can see it's noticeably bigger, and the same nice glasses, nice fixtures, everything. Bella's taking you on the tour, so that one you can follow Bella today. Okay. <laughs> so same thing here, you're going to install air conditioning units? Yes. Okay. And then you put it in the ceiling fan. Got it. And look, I love the gray slate with the marble. This is pretty. Did you all pick any of the finishes? No. Not No. Did they have an option? I don't think so. No. Okay. But they did a the job. Yeah. Yeah. And so they have the closet space here. So this is, are you going to put, make this like a linen closet? Yes. Okay, you can put in shelf. So you guys, you see, you do have to put in your shelf. So if you buy in this one, in this project, you're going to have to put in your air conditioning units. You're going to have to get all of your appliances. Um, no furniture package, he told you. Pool is optional. They have a great backyard. Um, and then what else? You gotta put in your water heater. So this is also the uh, glass for the and showers. And you have to put in the glass for the showers. So do you have the option? Let me ask. Do you have the option of getting a bathtub in either one of the bathrooms? Or they were they all no option? option. Okay. So that's something we can find out if you do one of the uh, larger units, like the two story, mm -hmm. the two levels, because they do have up to three bedrooms yes. in this project. So if you're looking for something a little bit larger, and so there's, give me, you said approximately 130. Process, the I know it's old, it started at 94, but now it's gone up. Gone up. Just like this one has gone up. Uh, I do know yesterday in talking to one of the installers, he said he bought a property on the other street mm -hmm. and it's being built and his is just a two bedroom, one bath. Wow. And he's paying seventy eight thousand. Wow. And you got a two bedroom, two bath. So guys, you see how fast property is increasing here. So if you're looking to invest in Punta Cana, now is the time to do it and you get a very generous payment plan. Because yes. ten months, because you don't make that final balloon payment until your closing day, right? Correct. Until you're getting ready to close. Yes, so, whatever the balance is, they give you the option to pay it off in cash mm -hmm. or get your own financing. Okay, so y'all, another episode, we are going to do 
uh, an episode with Mr. Roberto and his beautiful wife, Stacy, and find out why the DR. You know, that's my favorite question. We have to find that out. But today, it was all about them, you know, welcoming us into experiencing some properties that you can get under the $100,000 budget. So now, there's barely made it because their properties already increased. But, you know, if you have any more questions about it, oh, and tell us, HOA and amenities. People always want to know because we have the HOAs. How much is the HOA? $80 a month. $80 per month. Is that for all of the units or based on your two-bedroom, two-bath? I'm not sure, but I know we're paying 80 Okay, so that's something we will find out because in Kokotau, it does... Is it is based on the number of bedrooms? Oh, yeah, okay. so not based on the number of bedrooms. So that's something we'll find out for you and tell us what amenities because there's still a lot you can see construction right outside his door. So, what amenities are you all going to have in they the have community? two social areas? Okay, uh, I need that swimming pool with a clubhouse. Okay, then they're finishing up a swimming pool down the road. Okay, and I think that's gonna have either a basketball court or volleyball court. Nice. Like volleyball, I'm not sure. Okay. But it does look like it's gonna be some type of uh, a court. I don't whether basketball or volleyball, I'm not sure. Okay. And so now I told everybody that this was off the freeway. So how do you how do you feel being a little bit further away from the beach? What what's your thought on it? Oh um, 15 minute drive to the beach. There so, you go, everybody. You know, back home it was the <laughs> yeah. beach, five hours. Five hours so, right. 15 so minutes, 15 I can't minute complain. Drive, can't complain. Yeah. 15 minutes from the beach. And uh, no, I have bags. I see some fence. Did you have to pay for the no. whole fence or they did it? That for was you? included. That yes. was nice. Yes. Okay, so they're probably going to fence off everybody's. Yes. And then do the, I see they're doing the palms already over yep. here because yours is complete. So this is considered your privacy palms because they're going to grow Correct. and close it. I love it. I love it. So when is your day to sleep here? Your first night. What's it going to be? New Year's well, Day? Or what you going to do? We're not certain yet. It <laughs> may be in January sometime. In January. Yeah. So yeah, we have to get it furnished, uh, get the uh, units put in, get it mm -hmm. cooled down, and... Then I guess we'll they be there. Yeah, we need That's the stove, refrigerator. So right, once we get all that, I think we'll be uh, ready to spend a couple I, of nights. I think Bella's ready to come for a visit. Like, <laughs> she's all chilling. She loves it. Yeah, when we bring out my ladies, <laughs> uh, she could come hang out with them. <laughs> yes, definitely. Okay, so guys, we love it. Welcome. Congratulations Thank on you. your new place. Um, so everybody, don't forget, Ebony Ladies in the DR right here every Thursday, um, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and share. I know y'all gonna have like a million questions because there are so many things to cover when people are building and starting a new project. So just put the questions in the comment section below. If we have to do a follow-up, I'll do a follow-up and answer some more of the questions. But I think we kind of covered everything. Um, I know people do want to know your title because it's a new project or new bill have you had um, feedback on when your title is going to be ready or have you seen your deed or any well, of that due to COVID uh, it kind of set them back okay so we're expecting to receive it on April they said okay um, all right so a few months later after the closing the title and that's on the new bill and so it's not like they had to do due diligence and make sure the property was available for sale it's a brand new ownership it was just a matter of them doing it all and filing it with basically what we call our city hall in Igwe and everything is yeah. fine so it comes with a mother title right and then they have to subdivide it right to the uh, Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So there you go. So I'm waiting for your questions, but this is a nice project. We're going to do a little bit of footage um, and show you all a street that looks like it's completely done. Where, and you'll be able to see some of the two stories and we might shoot a little bit in somebody's backyard just to show you what a pacuzzi is for those that have never heard of one. All right. But we're going to get ready and take off and enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. Thank you all for watching. Thank you again for your time. Thank you. Okay, everybody, so we're at another property still in Primavera Residences 2, and this is the Pacuzzi. And you see it come with some steps, and the Pacuzzi comes with jets. So it's actually really cute um, for something to keep you cool.
cool on those hot days in your own little private area. And that one's going to step back a little bit because we're in one of the larger places. So this one is a three bedroom, two bath. And we're going to try to, well, you can kind of see a little bit inside has the metal stairwell, stairwells. Um, and it looks like same thing. No appliances, no um, selling fans, no air conditioning unit you have to put everything in it. so think about that when you're looking into getting new properties and this is a two-story three-bedroom and he said it priced out at hundred and thirty thousand dollars still under so maybe I might have to throw another episode in there what can I get for under a hundred and fifty thousand dollars we did under 200 now we've done under 100 okay now we're gonna keep driving around the community a little bit and show you the outside of what some people did with their properties you saw basic no landscaping so we're going to show you, kind of show you what people are doing with their landscaping and just um, how the community is developing. All right, everybody. So this is their, one of their social areas. This is one of the social areas in the community. And it's really pretty. So I can see they're probably going to have a barbecue pit and some patio furniture here. But if you can see behind me, they got their first pool set up. And they said people were in the pool yesterday. And it's really pretty. They did a good job on the landscaping. So I like it. So you have a little bit of amenities. And like he said, there's going to be a basketball court, a volleyball court. So those things are coming. So if you're not ready to fully retire here, you got time, then start building. Call me. Let's get it done. Let's get your property going. And then by the time you're ready to retire, late 2022, your property will be ready for you. You'll be ready to go move in something brand new under a hundred thousand dollars right, everybody i want to give you a little bit more information on new bills some things to think about um, these are some things that i didn't even i never would have taken into consideration so i wanted to pass information on to you so you all saw the property um, mr roberto martinez you saw his property uh, where he had a new bill well on his street it was his house that was completed and one other house at the end of the street the street was not paved it was a rough bumpy ride going down there um, the other houses the contractors and builders were still there working on it so their concern was um, that if they start to furnish their house with appliances with furniture air conditioning units would it be safe so that's something to think about because the um, the number of people going in and out of the gates every day is a huge number not always the same people so you got to think about security so there uh, they decided to put in the burglar bars well originally they were gonna put them all around but nobody really want burglar bars all around so they're gonna put the burglar bar on the back so this is something to think about if you are doing a new bill and you're coming here and they're still doing construction in your neighborhood on your street how do you feel about furnishing it and putting in the appliances and turning on the electricity and then going back to your country so that is definitely um, something that you have to think about take into consideration and when you're doing a new bill you are putting in everything they had to put in shower doors they had to put the screens all around the windows every appliance um, uh, the washing machine the refrigerator the stove the AC units the light fixtures or ceiling fans so where you know you think you're saving money and you could be I mean you definitely if you're getting a new bill at a really good price then you could be saving money if you know how to go around and find everything so I'm gonna tell y'all this is one of the reasons that I have been doing so many tours because so many people have been moving here and buying property and they don't know where to go to get um, their locks to get the keys made to to um, to buy the the selling fans that are good selling fans that a good price they don't know where to buy furniture. They don't know where to go get their electricity set up. Where is Claro? You can only go to one Claro place and get your Wi-Fi put in. You can pay it all around the city, but there's only one central place, just like for your utilities. So my tours come in handy. I have been doing so many tours. So for those of you that didn't see my tour information on a past episode, the tours are $75. They are really for people who are considering moving here, people who have moved here and don't know what to do next. Uh, and so they are a lot of information. They're very helpful. We usually spend about four hours together. 
So now going back to your new bill, you're going to need to know where all of these things are because you're going to need to, you know, furnish your new place, not just furniture, but appliances. You're going to need to know about utilities. And another thing, if you're doing a new bill and your property is the first one that's completed in the building or the first one that's completed on the street, this is something I had no idea about. The wires were not hot, so their power could not be turned on. Okay, so CPM had to make the power, make the wires hot, and get all of that taken care of. Who knew? Wow, this is like so much information. So when you're doing a new build, don't just think about you getting your house built. Think about, okay, where am I going to go buy my light fixtures? Where am I going to go buy my door locks? Where am I going to get the keys made? There's more, it's, it, it gets overwhelming. And I think, you know, some people are at that point. Um, I know more than just Mr. Roberto who did a new build. I have a couple other friends. And, you know, so I've had to do tours with them to help them get acclimated and find the things that they need um, so it's a lot but I wanted to add that information for you so that people who are asking me about pre-construction asking me about building things and uh, you know we've been doing a lot of shopping I like I told you guys furniture here nice quality good furniture is very very expensive I looked at a dining room set from one of my clients he found he loved on Facebook marketplace so I went went to Igwe to go see it a six seat a six person dining room set the table chairs six chairs two thousand dollars and it's something that we would probably pay seven or eight hundred dollars for is I mean it's pretty it's not you know state-of-the-art Italian made marble it's not all of that but that two thousand dollars for dining room set is very expensive and it's a beautiful one but if you're going down in price you're also going down in quality you're going down in the way that it looks so things here are expensive so if you're not um, 100% set on have to have a new bill and you want to do it all yourself there are some awesome properties around Punta Cana I show them I talk about them all the time properties that are older um, properties that not necessarily old as mine but maybe just two or three years old where people have decided you know to move up to a bigger place or decided that the Dominican Republic was not for them and they've already done all the work for you they have ACs they have ceiling fans they have all the furniture nice furniture already in place so think about it do your comparisons weigh all of the options um, before deciding on pre-construction I'm not against pre-construction I just think that there's so many beautiful things already done and you can move right in save yourself the headache but if you're one of those people that like a project you want to do it all yourself go for it book me for a tour i am here to serve you i am here to help you but that's just a, what i wanted to add on for pre-construction so guys if you have any more questions or comments that was two you did two hundred thousand and below less than 200,000 now we did a hundred thousand below so let me know for the ballers out there with the cash y'all want to spend three hundred thousand up to a million let me know if that is um in your budget if that's what you want to see then i'll find a couple of properties and we'll make a video about it everybody that's asking me about vista Cana, vista Cana is coming vista Cana um really only had a little restaurant the little man-made beach and maybe six or seven properties that were finished they would not let me film because it is a construction zone so once it's safe for me and my producer to go in and film and get you some information, I will do just that. If you want the brochures on Vista Cana, hit me up. I'll send them out to you. But right now, I'm not doing Vista Cana anytime soon until it's safe. So, guys, thank you for watching. This is Ebony Ladies in the DR every Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and share button. I appreciate it. And I'll talk to y'all soon.